Hello, my name is Dylan. Do not subscribe. Today I will show you the correct way of updating your firmware <coughs> on the new Tyrannus 2019 model. This also goes for the SE version. Okay, I'm showing you this because there are a lot of misguided YouTube clips out there and it took me a while to figure it out as I had the wrong guidance. So this is how you do it correctly. It is not hard. Now, do not take your battery out to plug it into the computer, that is wrong. You want to do it like any other radio. So you hold your two trims in. Now this can be a little bit tricky, but once you got it, it's easy. If you hold it all the way in, Open TX. Your radio will turn on as normal. Throttle warning. That is not what you want. If you don't hold it for long enough, it won't work at all. So you got to get the timing right. You got to hold your trims in and hold it in for a split second. Didn't get it. There it goes. So that's what you want. You want your bootloader page. And then you're right to plug your radio in to the computer to update the firmware. Like any other radio. Make sure when you create your radio profile, you select the 2019 version. No heli, Lua. This is just the font. It's optional. Just changes your font style. This option is for FCC only. If you are LBT, do not select this prompt. And make sure you have the correct stick mode selected. So I am mode 3, as I fly ultralights with my dad and it makes the most sense. That's how you really fly with your aileron and your elevator on the same stick. But it's all optional. After you have created the profile, up the top you select the download icon, then you select check for updates. Updates will then, update firmware will then install on your computer. After that, you select the side icon that says write to firmware or write firmware to radio then usually it pre-selects the last update profile to the last firmware you've downloaded but if not select the firmware that that is just downloaded then press ok it's simple as that your radio will update done do not take your battery out. Do not follow any of the other YouTube clips. They're all incorrect. I'm showing you this because it was very frustrating trying to get it right as I did try the trims and the on button but since there's a certain technique I didn't get it. So I didn't try any other techniques thinking that wasn't the way to do it. Good luck and happy flying.